now I'd like to welcome John and Pavel, so our partner selected winner, and their demo is very topical, uh, blockchain technology, so good luck, guys. Thank you. So we, we have an idea for you that's going to do two key things. One, it's going to capitalize on one of the biggest trends that's impacting financial services today. And second, it's going to make all of you in the room a lot of money, right? So my name is John. I'm with uh, Deloitte Digital. And, and we often advise our clients to work better with fintechs and look to embrace the technologies out there. So my main job is to introduce to you Pavel. Pavel is the CEO of Bluezell, which is a startup fintech that focuses on blockchain integration. Right? All right. Hi, everybody. So what I'd like to do is let's have a show of hands of everybody who's heard of the blockchain. OK, pretty much everybody. How many people here have actually seen something happen on the blockchain? Barely anybody. So what I like to say is I equate blockchain to high school sex. Everybody says they're doing it. Everybody thinks everybody else is doing it. But nobody's doing anything. So what we're going to do here today is show you how the blockchain works in a real transaction with the T24. So what you see here is the current legacy systems that banks are used to when it comes to international payments. Multiple hops, correspondent banks in between, float accounts held everywhere. Problem with that, that's a legacy system that used to work when transactions used to be high dollar amount but low volume. But the world's changed now because of remittance, small, B2, small to medium enterprise B2B business. You need low, volume, low dollar amounts but high volume of transactions. So this system doesn't work anymore. And also, it's highly problem problematic. It's costly, 10 to 15% of transactions, highly error prone, 14% of wires get misdone, and extremely slow, not just for the customer, but for you banks on the back end, three days to two weeks for settlement. I'm waiting two weeks for a Hong Kong wire still to show up. So we're going to focus on what the blockchain can deliver. So what we have here is uh, a bank at one end connecting to the T24. Then the Bluezell technology is tapping into the T24, which will talk to the Ripple network, which is a Ripple protocol blockchain, and send money overseas. So let's do a demo. Here I am, Coast Capital Bank, and I'm the teller. John comes to me and says, hey, I want to send some money. Um, let's see. Need some Canadian. I put in the account number for Coast Capital. There we go. And put in CED account. We're going to send it to our European partner. Let's just say it's Nordea. Credit account, EUR. And I'm going to pick a random dollar figure of 78 euros that he needs. So just like this. This is what the teller sees through T24. Let's look at the deal. Everything's there. I got the rate that came up. Now, the rate that comes up is what the Ripple protocol will come back with from the market makers. It's an efficient pathfinding algorithm. I validate the deal, and now you saw the transaction happen, complete. So this is what's happened on the bank side right now. So let's recap. Bluezell, the T24 stack at Coast Capital, talked to Bluezell, went to the Ripple protocol, the blockchain, found an efficient rate of going from Canadian dollars to Euro, and said, OK, let's finish that transaction. So all the messaging is done behind the scenes in real time. And then the transaction will happen over the blockchain. So here we go. I'm going now. Here's the actual blockchain ledger for Coast Capital. And there you see right there, 78 euros got instantly transacted. What where it before took two weeks, took seconds. Here's all the authentication that you see behind it, the encryption, the hash key, the ledger, all these nerd words that you see or have heard about, that's where it is. Now I took that private hash. I'm taking it to the transaction page. On the left, you're going to see real live transactions happening over the blockchain right now being settled. I enter our hash key, which once again is private to Coast Capital. And here you see all the information that was related with that transaction. You saw six nodes, six ledgers automatically get updated at the same time. So once again, a transaction that took two weeks or three days even took seconds. So what does this matter to you as a bank? It opens up whole new opportunities. Uh, customer remittance is huge. It's going from $500 billion a year to almost $700 billion in the next couple of years. Uh, huge market to go after. We don't have to go to Western Union anymore. Your customer can stay loyal to your thing because the most painful thing, I'm from Singapore now and Vancouver, and I see people going out of a bank with $1,000, going somewhere else to change the money. They should stay with their bank customer because that's who they're loyal to. The other biggest one is small to medium enterprises globally. Anybody 
with $1,000 can be an importer or exporter now because of things like Alibaba. You don't need to do $10 million a year to have efficient financial transactions of overseas payments. You can start with really small, and that's the biggest growth market out there. Using blockchain for cross-border payments opens up these new revenue opportunities. So we were just talking about this this morning over breakfast. So if you're not doing this, your members and your customers will go elsewhere. So it's about retaining that customer relationship that you have today. And small business is just a huge opportunity and something we absolutely want to capitalize on. So our, our call to action, what we want to leave you with a thought is, you know, it's never going to be perfect. You know, I've, I've been spending some time with a lot of startups and they say, if you are not ashamed of your product when you launch, you waited too long. Same thing applies, right? We as organizations need to lean in and just try experiments. So a couple thoughts. We together can do a proof of concept. Let's code this to deliver something and make it work, right? The high school thing that he commented about, we can start doing it as opposed to talking about it. Number two, you could do experiments. Everything's, and nothing's going to be perfect the first time. So try and experiment, learn from it, and go forward. But here's the biggest thing, number three. If you look at all of the people we have in the room here today, this is a trusted network. You're all on the same Temenos T24 stack. If everyone gets onto the Ripple network and can move money around, you can get away from all the SWIFT networks, all that kind of stuff. You have your own trusted network. And the ability within this room to generate new value for your customers that didn't exist before. Okay. So just don't uh, talk about it. Let's go do it. Thank you very much, everyone.